What's up guys? So I wanted to make a really short video today about how to make a composting toilet. Super simple. We're gonna keep this streamlined, not waste your time, not talk too much. Uh, our father-in-law is up here on the property staying for a week and we have our own pooper, but he, has, he doesn't have one. So he's, he's used to staying in hotels and now we're in the middle of the forest on a mountain. So I thought it would be a great opportunity to create a better composting toilet using the improvements that I wanna include in our own. And we'll just make it real quick today and throw it together for you guys so you can see how easy and affordable it is. To poop in a bucket. Essentially what you're creating is a separator. So you pee it through the funnel, it separates the urine from your solids. It's really simple. Separate the pee from the poop and then use some sort of substrate to sprinkle on top of your poop to help absorb moisture and odor. Uh, cedar shaving, cedar mulch. Uh, we've used anything from bark to most recently uh, wood ash from, the, from our fire, from our wood stove. So you can use all kinds of stuff. So we've just been experimenting, but we found that shredded cedar mulch is the best for odor and moisture. And then of course this winter uh, wood ash, it's free and we're constantly burning. So, and that works really well with mo moisture and odor as well. All right, so to show you what we got, basic supplies, have a drill, a drill bit, the size of the tube that you're gonna use for the urine separator, a simple funnel, some snippers to cut your funnel, a couple small screws to attach the funnel to the bucket, and a pee bottle. And one of the improvements I wanted to make on our toilet and we're gonna do to this one is having the funnel sit lower. So instead of having it sit flush where you might accidentally be sitting on it, um, it can pinch some sensitive areas. I'm gonna cut this little tab off of here. You also wanna cut the lip off your funnel. You want a nice, as flat as you can get, that way it sits um, up against the inside of the bucket. So, so far I had free, free tubing, extra screws, $5 bucket, and I think it was three, it was a three pack of funnels for a dollar. So pretty good deal so far. You can see here, I tried to get a clean snip off of it and I just took a little power sander and sanded it down. We want a nice clean face so when it sits against the inside of the bucket and we put the two screws in right here, it sits nice and flush. That's what we're going for. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the screws started. This is the tricky part, but you really just gotta apply the right amount of pressure and they'll go right in. So, got one screw started. I'll even back it out a little bit. Okay. All right, so you can see we, we got both screws in, just kind of sticking out, that way it's easier to get into the bucket. The mistake I made making our first toilet uh, two years ago was putting our funnel too high, and that was making it uncomfortable to sit on right here. And I also smoothed this out too. So I'm gonna lower it down about half an inch, maybe even a full inch. About right there looks good to me. And one thing you could do to prevent missing or having leakage go into the bag, the container, is putting a strip of duct tape here, uh, make sure it's nice and clean, and that will just keep any um, splatter or anything going over into the bucket. The goal here is to keep the liquids and solids separate. Yeah, maybe I will. I think I'm gonna put a third screw just to really lock it down. Now that we got the uh, funnel attached, um, and it's sitting low enough so it's not gonna rub or hit any sensitive areas. Now you can just hold up your tube. This is just some old tubing. I don't even know where this came from, to be honest. Um, anything will work, literally anything. You probably use a garden hose if, you, if that's all you had, um, as long as it attaches to the funnel. You wanna try to get an idea of where you think the hole should be drilled, and it's not gonna be drilled in perpendicular. It's gonna come in at an angle. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and mock this up and uh, just kind of guess where the hole should be. Clean it up a little bit because you got to make your poop bucket look good, right? Install it like this so it naturally just leaches out to the ground. Normally, if you're going to put this in, in inside, you would raise the bucket and then have this collect down into here. And of course, once you start using it, it will, it will stay in place. That's also why um, we like the square water jugs. You know, the uh, this is like a one gallon milk jug or water jug. You can get the two and a half gallon ones are like rectangle and they're designed to sit inside your refrigerator with like a little dispenser. Those seem to work the best because they are square design. They stand upright. And when the bucket is raised, it makes it a lot easier to go right in the bucket without it wobbling around or uh, having any chances of spilling. 
it's really this simple. You get a black trash bag, preferably the thicker ones, but we've used the, the regular store brand. Put it inside, you wanna push it in a way where you get all the air out between the bucket and the bag. And then you pretty much just buy one of those clip-on um, luggable loos, just like a toilet seat that clips on top of any five gallon bucket. Uh, even Walmart has their own like Ozark Trail brand of the clip-on toilet seat. <laughs> Got it screwed into a simple base. You can use anything, but you do want it raised up. Um, I'm building this for father-in-law, who's a little bit shorter than I am, so I, I'm gonna put it lower to the ground than I would for myself. In a clean bag, feed it in, get it like this. And another tip is to is to roll the seam that's gonna be against or underneath the funnel. And this keeps all the nasties from being on the outside of the bag. So when you go to take it out, you can remove this safely, unroll it, and then close it up. Everything's self-contained. And then, so once this is pinched up like this, I'm gonna put my arms in and push all the air out best I can. You want the back part where you're gonna be doing your business to be nice and smooth, just like that. You got your toilet seat cover, camping toilet seat cover. Get it lined up. Uh, funnel nice and centered so building and composting toilet really is that simple don't overthink it just build it how you want be creative just two principles separating the liquid from the solid and then using some sort of substrate to absorb the uh, moisture and odor if you're doing this in a trailer or a tiny house in the winter time you'd want to divert that to uh, a holding tank and if you don't want the holding tank in the interior of your bathroom or you don't want it visible i would recommend building a box obviously around it that's what a lot of people do that's the most popular option you can even use pallet wood totally for free so super affordable it's all under 20 dollars. and then the next step is your substrate and i've done a lot of research on the substrates a lot of people like to use peat moss for whatever reason i've read a couple threads on forums about peat moss um, having issues with smell so obviously cedar is known for absorbing smells smelling awesome everybody loves using cedar in their builds threaded cedar cedar mulch was the best um, you can use mulch wood ash uh, sawdust um, anything you can get your hands on I mean, if you had light fluffy dirt you could use that I've heard of people just putting layers of newspaper on top of each poop but yeah just get creative there's literally no rules with this and we've only been doing it for two years and we're still learning a couple improvements are lowering the funnel so it's more comfortable to sit on for male male and female something to keep in mind is a larger funnel helps with females less aiming smaller funnel is more comfortable for males but it really doesn't matter right you can make this work let's just go find a really nice spot to uh to put it somewhere where the liquid can be leached out and where we have a nice view <laughs> 